Up North Source News with brothers from another mother, Jim and Josh Liedrich, Bill Longshot Sports, Zane Anderson Weather, your man in the field, Gunner Keystone. It's Up North Source News now. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Jim. Welcome back to another edition of The Up North Source. The Iron Range has experienced its first COVID-19 related death. A 32-year-old man who had been stocking up on quarantine supplies amassed quite the collection. Authorities reported he collected over 10,000 rolls of toilet paper, approximately 1,200 cans of green beans and cream corn, and 2,000 pounds of rice and beans. As a result of trying to stack all this in his apartment, it inevitably collapsed around him, killing him on impact. Wow, Josh. That's heavy. In other COVID-19 news, closings. All schools have been closed and canceled at this time. Gyms and workout centers are closed. Lent apparently has been canceled in its entirety due to the inability for local fish fries. The Hibbing Police Department needs help identifying a man suspected of theft from the local Walmart. Apparently he made off with over 50 pounds in jerky, and if you see this man, you're instructed to keep your distance and notify the local authorities. Now it's time for sports. Phil, what's happening in the world of sports? Phil? Well, I guess that's all for sports. Seems like it. Now a word from our sponsors. Before you lock yourself in a room with your wife and kids, make sure you stock up with Hard Rock Liquor, Hibbing's premier destination for all your quarantine needs and cures. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the weather out there. Zane? Thanks, guys. There's a lot going on in the Northland. Looks like we're going to have a few weeks of Corvin 19 sweeping in from the east right here. Uh, or as some may call it, the land of the rising sun. China. <laughs> and with that, there's also a front moving in from the it's south, corona as you can see on the map here. Uh, hey, it's it seems corona to be time right now. Corona? Hmm. Uh, with that, there's also an extended period of widespread... Uh, wait, standby. I'm getting some breaking news. Apparently, the virus has been spotted moving into the area. Let's go to our up north source chopper, live on the scene. Hi to all you viewers at home. It's Ted Overhead. And as you can see here, the coronavirus is making its way into Hibbing. It's moving in from the east and, oh, oh my, it just split into the roundabout. I knew we never should have got one of those. There's no stopping it now. At least it can't reach me up here. Back to you, Zane. Whoa, that looks a little scary out there, so make sure you bundle up, people. Put on those hazmat suits and neglect your neighbors because it looks like we're in for an extended hibernation and additional cabin fever here in the Northland. Let's take a look at what it's like out there on the streets. Gunner, are you there? Thanks, Josh. I'm here at the local fitness club, Freebs Fitness, with the owner, Melissa Freeberg. Melissa, what can you tell us, uh, tell me about the recent shutdowns? Well, it's really making life difficult for all of us here on the range, especially all the small business owners. But the good news is the retailers may be leasing our space to hide all the junk food, the candy, maybe even the toilet paper. Well, that would make sense. Good hiding spot. Well, you heard it first, right here on the street. Now back to you guys. That about wraps up the evening news. Tune in next time to hear more about how you should have bought stock in toilet paper, rice, and beans. I'm Jim. And I'm Josh from all of us here at Up North Source. Up yours, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>